Nelly and Anita. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Melita have emerged to the new heads of house, right? They merged the new heads of house with eight ballots, all right? I was shocked when the housemates were going in. Most of the housemates were voting for Nelita. And in my mind, I'm like thinking, did these guys campaign for them to be voted in, right? So after the whole ballots, you know, um, voting system, they would have called all of them into the arena. And then the ninja counted one, two, three, four, five to eight. And at the end of the day, Big Brother announced Nelita, the duo of Nelly and of course Anita as the new heads of house. And of course he told them that this heads of house position does not come with immunity, but they will definitely be able to play during the immunity challenge. And then it was time for them to choose who their guests were going to be. And I would have thought that they would have chosen Suj and Tofa, who are like their boyfriends on the house. Guess what? They chose checkers. I mean, if one of the girls were like, come here, I can't hug you, but definitely, I think it was, it was really good to like have the checkers come experience what the head of, head of house lounge would really look like. Okay, we, we chose um, checkers. checkers. <laughs> now it is the third week of the Big Brother Nine, just season nine, the Nogus Guard season. And yesterday we saw the fact that, you know, Indine was evicted from the show. That's the pair of uh, uh, in their chine, right? Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, why did trees not, you know, save them? Why did trees allow them to go? I mean, that was after we saw the votes, by the votes, you know, and they were like the second highest, I think. I, I think. I think they were the second highest, right? Now, my point is this. Last week, when the custodians, or the last time the custodians, last in Dine, had the power to save people, they didn't save trees they saved the radicals right now trees won the custodian challenge and of course they decided not to save i'm sure i am now beginning to feel like that is the reason why they didn't save them because they remember that these guys also had the custodian you know the last time and they didn't save us so if we have the custodian this time we don't have to save them we don't owe them and i'm sure that that's the reason why i'm sure indeed they didn't even bother taking it to heart you know, so also yesterday we saw the fact that, you know, crazy fight between the twins and the, and Ruti. You know, Ruti, Ruti, Ruti. I mean, we saw that video really, you felt like, I feel like a, a DJ or somebody just put a mix on that stuff. So, we saw that the fight broke out and how, what, what, what happened in the fight? We were watching this girl came out and said that, who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? They're mad. Ruti, I call her name, she cannot do anything. Ah. Wani, they were having a conversation in the garden and it felt like Ruthie thought they were talking about her and then she came and said you know what don't mention my name I don't want to hear my name in your mouth and that was how everything went you know went up in flames you know um it was a very serious face off right and I think that they did an amazing job yesterday by shaking the tables <laughs> hmm. because I felt like the first two weeks was really too cool and it felt like too cool for a reality show. But the show started yesterday, officially for me. The show started yesterday, right? And that's what I'm beginning to feel. And I also see the fact that, you know, um, what's her name? Chinwe is blaming Ibuka for, you know, she's trying to accuse Ibuka of breaking her relationship. And we all outside are wondering, you're the one who wants to spoil your relationship. Because even if Ibuka didn't ask you, I'm sure Zion's family members are outside and are watching the show because... I understand that, you know, in a relationship, you have a partner, you want to help, you want to be with this person, you want to support them. But there's always, there are people in this life that you probably should not get help from. Small fight. They're already announcing it to the world that if not for them, you won't be where you are. I'm like, for the time that you guys had it good, can you for that, for that, for the sake of those moments, keep every other crazy information. They also have crazy information. There are things that they've done for you that, you know, they didn't probably tell the world. But here you are, you were telling DJ Flo that, you know, uh, you literally paid for the hotels, you got him to the show, blah, blah, blah. And that if this guy wants to pay you, you need to get out of the show so that you also leave the show at the time when the show is up. But yesterday, here you were, being scared of your name being called as the next housemate to be evicted. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm saying that in the long run, she's, she's here blaming and accusing the Bukha of wanting to spoil her relationship. 
one thing that I know is this Ebuka is doing what he knows how to do best. The idea is the housemates are beginning to understand the fact that come on, Big Brother is really watching, and, and of course, at any time, they will call you out. I was even expecting that, you know, um, Ebuka was going to call somebody out yesterday, but I mean, I, I thought he was going to call Ruthie out on the, the comment that she made on Mayor Frosch, saying that she's using him for the game and that, you know, she's older than him and definitely he's a small boy. And that she still mentioned it yesterday that he's a small boy and that's why the housemen do not respect him and all of that. That's why Wayne and Hanyu don't respect him because he's 25 years old and that she's older than him and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, if you're older than him, why are you kissing him, right? If you feel whatever, why are you kissing this poor boy? The Head of House Challenge is going to start in a moment, the whole ballot system for the Head of House Challenge. And for the first time in Big Brother's history, We've had hired head of houses that were disqualified. You know, they had three strikes, they left to the show and all of that stuff. I think Coco Chloe, Coco Chloe, um, the last time, I think she was disqualified when she was head of house. I think that Erica also was disqualified. But for the first time, that a head of house will be evicted on a reality show and Big Brother, this is the first time it's happened. Indini went home yesterday. And you know, everybody's now beginning to see that the game is getting tougher. Two pairs are out of the show. Four people are gone, and they're down to 24 people in the house. And we got to see how this will play out this week. All right, guys, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. I want to please crave your indulgence. If you watch this video, all I need from you to do is just give this video a thumbs up. That's all. I'm not asking for any other thing. What I want you to do is just like this video, share with you people, and let them get to watch. All right? Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so guys, so you get notified whenever i post a video go on our social media platforms on facebook on instagram and twitter and of course on tiktok and follow me at the family down there until next time i come away again very soon it's bye for now